All right, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. I haven't looked. It's getting dark. It is 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. You can see uh, a beautiful sunset going on over there, if I can get tall enough. Short people disease here. Vertically challenged. It's gorgeous over there. Anyway, um, we finished up the uh, meet and greet and tech inspection uh, stuff. And I've just been standing around doing a live stream for about an hour and 40 minutes. And uh, talking to everybody and meeting new people. Making new friends. And now we are headed back to the uh, campsite in the dark on the California highways on Friday night. That's going to be great. Catch the sarcasm there. Ready to go. We're really not very far away from it, but we do have to jump on the highway uh, for a couple of miles just to avoid a whole bunch of surface street nonsense. I'm not real enthused about that. California highways suck bad enough in the daytime. Uh, anywho, yeah, we had fun. I had a burger and uh, a couple of beers and let those uh, dissipate. Although I didn't tinkle. I need to tinkle. Too much information? Okay. Ugh. I can whiz in the wind out on the beach. Met Johnny Powell. Uh, he and I uh, exchanged notes a while back uh, on uh, his uh, ride series uh, that they did. Uh, and I feel like an idiot. Uh, he was talking to me when I first got there and he came over and he was, he was saying, hey man, it's great to see you, blah, 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 and all that. And uh, we were talking about the uh, Trail 125. Uh, and it just didn't dawn on me, you know, cannonball brain early, I guess. Uh, it didn't dawn on me uh, that that was him. And I said, yeah, I was going to do the tat uh, on my uh, Trail 125, but uh, some guy rides, you know, they beat me to it already. <laughs> I was talking to him, dumbass. I feel like the uh, people that are going, oh yeah, this guy quasi motor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I want Heidi. <laughs> I'm a goober. I meet so many people uh, that know me, but I don't know them, and I feel so inadequately prepared. Uh, it just it catches me off guard, and I'm really bad with names. Uh, now, if I've met someone and actually engaged in conversation with them, I remember them, no problem. But if I just meet somebody in passing, I, man, I can't make that name stick. Yeah, I'm so bad at that, and it's not just you know socially like you know this, but uh, even in work settings and stuff, I'll do a job with somebody and I'll know their face or whatever uh, because I talk to them for a few minutes on a, a job and a technical capacity or whatever, uh, and they'll introduce themselves. And man, I I can't remember it. You know, I walk away. Thirty <laughs> seconds later, that name is gone, in one ear, out the other. Nothing but air in between there. Anywho. What's so, up? We're having fun so far. And my night vision sucks, but I'm glad this is at least well lit. I need to get the uh, Vin Diesel uh, eyeball polish thing done, like in pitch black. <laughs> See in the dark. I can wear shades during the daytime. That's fine with me, man. I don't mind. If I could see in the dark, that'd be great. Worthwhile trade-off. Of course, I don't think I'd want to have to battle the uh, monsters in pitch black to uh, to get there. <sighs> I hope I sleep well tonight. Uh, I slept surprisingly well last night uh, in the tent at that campground. Uh, it wasn't overly cold, and uh, we had a we had a good lie down uh, in the tent. Um, my lower back has been giving me fits the last day or so, uh, but it's better today, and I hope it continues on that path. Uh, I do need to eat some uh, bananas or something. I need some potassium. This monkey is low on potassium because I'm getting leg cramps already, and I don't want that shit to start too early because, let me tell you, that's no kind of fun doing these uh, timed endurance events, and uh, there's no taking a break. You just need to get it done. And uh, when you got Charlie horses in your leg knotting up, feels like somebody's shoving a hot screwdriver through the back of your leg. Yeah. Pass. No thanks. Festival of pain. So I need to make sure I'm well hydrated. I'll probably get some uh, uh, some of that electrolyte powder stuff uh, and add it to my water bag or the hydration pack. I don't like Gatorade and stuff in my hydration bag because uh, the sugar... Whoa. All right, dude. You could have just let us out instead of uh, threading through us being a dick. Uh, 
I don't like the sweet drinks in my hydration pack because it gums them up and it gets kind of nasty over time. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll find something. I might be able to find a good sporting goods store around here and find some stuff that's not overly sweet. I just need the uh, electrolytes and whatnot. Uh, potassium is a big deal. Believe it or not, salt is a big deal. You need enough salt when you're doing these long, hot rides because the salt helps your body retain a little bit of water uh, and it, it benefits you as you're sweating out tons. But the electrolytes are the big deal because you're, you're getting rid of all your, your electrolytes and your body salts and everything um, through perspiration. So tomorrow, this monkey is going looking for some bananas and uh, maybe some, uh, not protein powder, but you know, the drink powders or something like that. We'll see how it goes. I'd like to find a cycle gear or a Revzilla, not too far away. Uh, I've never been to Revzilla, like proper. You know, I've been to plenty of cycle gears and they're pretty much the same company now. But um, I'd like to get a, another USB charger under my seat so I can power the stuff in the bag, uh, especially if I'm not gonna be carrying the top box and the other stuff and I'm traveling fast and light, I'll put all the electronics gear under the seat and uh, I'd like to power it because all my power is going forward right now for this stuff. I don't have my under seat one uh, hooked up yet. So anyway, late planning, last minute stuff. Procrastination, just can't have the bike ready to go right before I go to a trip. Never have it on time. It's always uh, heavy modifications and tinkering right before a big trip. Why do I do that? Most of it's electronics and uh, you know camera gear. If it wasn't for that, you know, I could jump on any of my bikes and go across the country. Just you know, I'm gone. I'm done. Let's go. But uh, <laughs> when I introduce all the complexity of the electronics and the cameras, then you got to think about charging and mounts and you know stability of the the equipment mounts and everything else. So there's more that goes into it. Didn't seem like we traveled this far on the highway earlier. Hmm. Trust in Neil's navigational prowess here. I haven't even bothered punching it in, so I can't complain. Playing follow the leader. Lemming right off the cliff. Oops. There it is, Sonofri State Park. All right. Onofri. I can't say it right. I don't know. Everybody correct me. What is it? And don't be a dick. I'm not from here. <laughs> San Onofri? 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 Onof. 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 Well, at least this time we know where we're going. No wandering around like we did earlier. The GPS coordinates that uh, Neil had for the campsite itself were off for some reason. Uh, whatever he had written down or whatever they gave him was off. Uh, so he was thinking it was way down this end, but it's you know very far down the other side. So the signs were correct. You know, follow the follow the signs for the campsite. Oh, it looks like I need to turn off my flashing red light for the camera because it's going to be reflecting in the uh, windshield. That's a software setting. You can turn it off.
I left it recording the whole time I was at the uh, the meet back there. I just turned it on and left it running. So hopefully uh, I got some good uh, B-roll and people walking around and talking shit about my scoot. <laughs> Look at that dirty piece of shit. Yeah, so uh, about the uh, registration this year and how many there are, I'm I'm pretty surprised. And I think uh, just from the messages that I had sent back and forth with David Bednarski, uh, one of the you know, the founder and the organizer of this, he uh, he can't believe how many people are, are signed up this year. He's like, oh my god, this is going to be crazy. It's going to be a zoo. Uh, so I don't know if it was the news coverage that uh, really kicked it into the next gear. Uh, because there were some, uh, you know, news, uh, big, big outlets like USA Today and stuff like that that did specials on it and uh, some local news stations in the towns that we went through and newspapers and that sort of thing. Uh, and apparently they even did interviews with a handful of the people. Uh, I wasn't asked or approached, so maybe I'm not that type of personality. That's okay. I, I get it. I get it. I can be a dick. Um, <laughs> uh, I call it like I see it. I'm not always PC. Um, but anyway, uh, the uh, enrollment in it, you know, the interest in it is just drastically higher this year than it has been, you know, as far as total uh, enrollment and all that. So uh, I don't know if it was the news or if it was some of the videos that uh, Go Pam and I have done or what, but it didn't seem like there was anyone else posting videos, just Go Pam and I. Uh, a few people, uh, Steven did some, and uh, a handful of people did a few videos, but they didn't really, you know, chronicle the trip. Uh, a few years ago, what was it, back in 2016, there was the the Slow Ride movie, but that was a, a professional production, you know. They, they had a film crew following them and all that, so it wasn't a solo content creator like this. So it'll be really cool to see uh, Johnny's videos on this uh, and anybody else that's carrying a lot of cameras. I sincerely hope that you all uh, record and post a bunch of video for it, you know, showing the experience on the road. Uh, I'm no, you know, videographer. I'm uh, sophomoric at best, and uh, I'd love to see everybody else's uh, production on it. That'll be really cool. Get more perspectives, more takes on it. I like Johnny and Ang's videos. Uh, they've got a, an interesting kind of uh, stream of consciousness style uh, videos. It's kind of, I guess what I do is just talking, you know, I'm just hanging out with friends here, hopefully. Everybody's friends, you know, watching the videos. You're in this because you like watching, uh, you know, touring videos and small bore bikes and things like that. I mean, I do big bikes too, but you know, everybody knows my, my preference kind of leans toward the small bikes just because they're more fun, you know, I don't know, I enjoy the challenge, I guess, I've been riding so long, you know, my, my riding career is so varied that, uh, how do I say this without being a conceited prick, this is all so very easy to me, uh, and I have to do things that are a little bit challenging to bring up that excitement factor again, you know, <laughs> it, getting on a big gold wing or a big full dress tour and going across the country or state to state or whatever, it's just so blasé to me, it's so boring now. Uh, and that's not to say that I can't enjoy it, but it doesn't have that same, you know, that same kick. I don't get that, uh, that uh, the same enjoyment out of it uh, that I do with the small bore bikes, because these take planning. I mean, they, not everybody uh, can just jump on a little bike and go across the country. I mean, anybody could, but can you actually see it through? That's the question. <laughs> because it takes some focus, determination, and some serious gluteal fortitude to do it. And that, for me, that's the, the challenge, is, you know, just doing it uh, and basically testing myself to see if I can get it done and not forget anything, screw anything up, hurt myself, whatever. So that's why I enjoy it. 
I can get on the big bikes and, you know, crush across country in, you know, 36 hours if I really wanted to. I don't condone that, but I'm not going to say I haven't done it. Uh, I didn't do it to set any records or notoriety or anything like that. I just did it because I was bored and I wanted to see if I could do it, so I did it. Uh, that's just not a challenge to me anymore. Wow. Can people that are already pre-vetted skip the line? Maybe we can just tell them we've already got tags and skirt the line. This is bullshit. Oh, okay. All right. I was going to say, we can probably just roll up there and go, see, bye. Are you getting a little antsy? No, oh, I just, I need to pee. <laughs> what? I need to pee. I need to pee. I need to pee. I need to pee, man. I'm getting, I'm getting pangry, pee angry. I can suffer with everybody else. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll live. <laughs> Nancy. I gotta pee. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. I would have liked to have had a lot, three or four more beers, but I knew I had to ride back here, so I don't want to be a sloshy dipshit on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if we'd brought our tents, just camp there in the parking lot, screw it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, we made it early. <laughs> We're early. What's for breakfast? Got coffee? Got a bit of a hangover. Come on. No, we need to ask him about water, because I've got my hydration bag and that's it. Hmm. What about water? Is there water out there near the campsites anywhere? Because we ain't got no water. Sorry? Like a like faucets or something. I'm, I don't want bottled water. Just here, that's it? Okay. campsites and they don't have water okay is it potable water like drinkable okay all right potable water got to explain the definition of potable okay all right we might come back with a, a jug uh, oh yeah he's got a trailer Okay, cool, thank you. Try not to be a dick, I just want information. I'll let them lead. I'll come back, I don't have my jug. Yeah, I, I've got my bottle back there at the campsite. You got your one gallon. Yeah, I'll fill that up. Okay, good idea. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's just let the bladder stew even longer. He said it's on the back of the building. I don't know. What kind of campsite doesn't have water out there near the camps? They got those, you know, hole-in-the-ground uh, outhouse things out there, but... They didn't run any water out there? Come on. I guess while it's dark, I can show you guys my my uh, my lighting. Got the uh, Add More light bar under here uh, that was giving me trouble before I left. That was another one that was bugging me. It wasn't working, and it kind of works, and it doesn't work, and I've checked all my connections, so it's not a weak electrical connection. I was concerned that maybe it was low battery on the bike or maybe uh, ground or something on this, but I don't know, it's working now and it's been working the whole trip. Uh, it just gave me fits at home. And then I got my flashy blinky, uh, I'm slow, don't hit me light, and that's kind of bright. 
I can turn it off when I don't need it, but I've had it running this whole trip. I haven't even turned it off. And if somebody behind me doesn't like it, back off or go around. You can see me, right? That's the point. So, he's got wood for fire, water to put it out. I guess they don't have uh, burn restrictions out here on the beach. You know, close enough to water, I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know. I might do another live stream out here at camp. Uh, we've got really good 5G signal out here. Obviously, we're close to a major highway, so uh, I'm going to pee first. Too much information? Uh, and then I'll hook up my phone and charge it because <laughs> I ran that hour and a half uh, live stream. Is this thing charging? I forgot to look. Oh, that not suck. No, it wasn't charging all this time. I turned off the charger. Damn it. Uh, it could have been getting charged on the bike. Anyway, I've got a fresh battery at the camp, so I'll, I'll charge this up. Um, anyway, yeah. So I ran like an hour and 40 minute live stream and ran my phone down to 20%. I'll charge it back up and uh, maybe play around out here from camp. Oh, excuse me. Lighting isn't going to be very good though. Not have much light out here. Yeah, we're right at the dew point because my helmet is steaming up inside. I have never beach camped in California, so this is a first for me. I mean, we're not technically on the beach, but the beach is right there, like, you know, be 60 yards over this dune. See if we can find our site before we pass it. We've got plenty of lights from the city, but no lights over here in this facility, which is a little strange. I smell wood burning. Ah, oh, smells so good. Mm. Duh, well. Okay, we should be in this next section. I remember three little roundabout thingies. right after this uh, restroom. Oh, he's going to go here to go tinkle. I was just going to pee on the beach, man. Piss through the fence. I could care less. I'm going to there. I'm going down. I'm going to pee on the I'm going to pee on the fence. He's trying to be all proper. I paid to pee on this beach. Go. Yep. right after this. It's the last restroom in the building. Somebody's got charcoal burning. Smell lighter fluid. This is us right in here somewhere. Looking for tents in the background. 50, 49, 50. This is it.
Yeah. Back it in. Uphill. Ooh. Can't see. Oh, can't see. Oh, going crooked. Oh, can't see. My neck doesn't turn that far. I think Neil will be able to back in here. Yeah. Well, tent's still here. It's a good thing. Okay then, shut all this down and uh, charge cameras. <laughs>